What up, folks? We're back again. TBS here. We've got another gold label from McFarland to check out. I got this from AliExpress like at least a couple weeks ago. Um, it, I think it got here like right when I got back from vacation. And um, yeah, man, we're gonna check it out. It's a Dread Lantern, man. This is like the classic old school a Green Lantern before uh, Hal Jordan. But he's like all like gnarly. He's got fire coming out of his face. But uh, he's got a fire sword too. But yeah, from Dark Knight's Metal. I don't think I've finished reading that whole series yet. But yeah, I've got this from AliExpress. Um, some people like it, some people don't get stuff from them. I don't mind it yet. It might come a little beat up, but I'm going to open up my figure anyways. If you're a on box person, you're taking a gamble. You're taking a big gamble, so I wouldn't do it. I would just wait forever and ever and ever for it to show up to your place, or you have to buy it off somebody off of eBay. I don't know. I'm just kidding. But anyways, um, yeah, I don't know. I just like getting off there because I'm going to open them up. But yeah, like I said, if you're a mint on box guy, it's really iffy. It's really iffy whether that package is going to show up a little beat up a little dinged up or not dinged up because i've had got some packages from aliexpress that weren't dinged up and then i've got some that are pretty beat to hell but the figure is fine anyway so we're going to shut up and get this figure open and check him in and here he is folks he looks to be the tits mcgee to me to be honest with you i know people like around the world and on facebook's and stuff like that and on the youtubes and the internets will be like oh there's something this or that or whatever because that's the one thing i've realized lately on social media is that dudes like nitpick the crap out of these figures and yet they don't produce anything of their own, you know, any any figures or anything or anything. And they just like nitpick and complain about these. And I just don't understand it because I'm looking at it and I'm like, it's a badass figure. But apparently me being 47 years old and been in the toy game for a long, 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 long time and collecting figures for a long time off and on and pretty much solidly ever since 1996 and 95 or the mid 90s, um, yeah, I, apparently I don't know shit about action figures. Apparently I don't know a damn thing. But uh, but that's besides the point. Um, here's our collectible trading card, as my buddy Overlord always says. Uh, Dread Lantern, Dark Knight's Metal. That's a badass card, not gonna lie. Um, let's see. I already messed it up. Let's see. Alan Scott. Good old Alan Scott. Following the defeat of, an of the Anti-Monitor, only one Earth remained. But which Earth? In one timeline, Earth's Earth 1 Superman prevented Earth 2 Superman from going into final battle, but in the dark multiverse, it was Jor-El of Earth-2 who survived when the powerful demon Surtur sought to destroy this new Earth. Green Lantern is, oh wait, wait, so Green Lantern Alan Scott struck an unthinkable deal to protect his planet and its inhabitants. In exchange for Earth's safety, Alan volunteered to serve as a demon's herald, kind of like um, Silver Surfer in a way, like a herald. Or whatever, like a Fire Lord or Nova. Anyways, but that's Marvel. Anyways, uh, the former Green Lantern now guides Surtur and his armies to unknowing worlds, bringing Ragnarok to trillions upon trillions of terrible, of the, as the terrible Dread Lantern. So yeah, there you go. I'm sorry, I can read. But yeah, that's cool, man. That's crazy. I wonder if we'll get a, I don't have a Surtur figure. That'd be cool if we get him. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, because we don't. We have Sabak, but we don't have uh, Surtur. Surtur, Surtur. But yeah, this looks pretty rad, man. I like the face detail, man. Detail on the face scope. It's nice. It's really nice. I like the flames. And they got another version of this they just released. I pre ordered it from good old Todd Father. Todd Father just keeps coming out with more and more stuff, man. It's like Christ Almighty. The cape's pretty nice. It's not bad, it's malleable. No, it's not bad. Um, let's see. Yeah, he's pretty wicked, man. And I guess it's the Dread Lantern logo, so what? Some, somewhat. So it looks, his boots, everything. It's pretty rad. So to take this and to make a classic figure versus this figure is not too, I guess, insanely hard. You're just swapping like the, these uh, arm bracers and stuff, gauntlets or whatever, the paint. The fire out of his eyes and that's pretty much it i believe but uh other than that man round figure man the splitsies pretty well dang uh double knees obviously as you can see that and uh no boot cut but you got a rocker pivot and all that and good old swivel swivelly swoo and then we got a waist got hella good range in the damn uh midriff for in the waist in the waist end and uh torso and stuff so he's got hella range that's cool man that's really nice that's not bad um oh, i just popped out his arms uh-oh uh-oh 
Watch out. There we go. Popped it back in. Anyways, but, uh, yeah, man. Double elbows. He's got his ring. I guess his Dread Lantern ring. But, yeah, let me see. Oh, there we go. Yeah. And let's see what else. And that's about it, man. And then you got, like, a little side hinge and all that. Rigmarole. Yada, yada, yada. Same old thing that you've seen a thousand times. Um, other than that, we got his Flame Sword, which is badass. You can... Take this if you wanted to and just use it with anybody. Maybe use it with some of your Motu guys or your Marvel guys or whoever. That's pretty badass. That's really cool. I like it. Or even your Motu classics or something if you wanted to, if you're still hanging on to those. Um, yeah, he's badass. I guess the next thing we gotta, I gotta do is get him uh, posed up. Okay. And here we have him on one foot, actually able to hold up his sword like he's doing a whole I have the power thing or he's about to take flight, you know, because they can't fly. And uh, he's not cheating. He is not cheating on the cape, man. That is, the cape is not touching the damn ground. It's not a big deal probably to somebody else, but it's a big deal to me. If I can stand him on one foot and, and you don't have to cheat on the cape, that's that's awesome. So, yeah, he's he's well balanced. Uh, he's badass, man. I like him. He's a good figure. And uh, even the paint wash, the yellow paint wash on the orange flames of the sword is badass, too. And, uh, yeah, he's awesome, dude. He's an awesome figure. I like him a lot. He's beautiful. Beautiful, 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 beautiful man. He's a good figure. Anyways, um, I guess that's it, man, for this figure review. It's kind of short and sweet, I guess. But uh, let me know anything in the comments if you'd like this figure or not, or if you know anything about this figure. If not, you can go, always go to DC Infinite and read about it. And if not, um, you can also go to your local comic book shop or go to Amazon and buy, like, the graphic novels and stuff and all that and uh, read, read from it and stuff and check it out and do research. Anyways, um, yeah, it's a cool figure. I like him a lot. Anyways, thanks for watching on. Have a good one. All right, later. Bye. Bye.